Who is it? Yo, who is at my door right now, bro? Oh, is this what I think it is? We got a package. All the way from Osaka, Japan. Okay, so you probably already know what's in this box based on the thumbnail, but I still wanna show you like the, the process. I still wanna, <laughs> so I don't have to say too much. I bought a camera not too long ago, actually. It's the one that I'm actually filming on right now. I bought it close to the end of summer, midsummer and summer. And I love this camera, don't get me wrong. It's small, it's compact, it's good, but I need a little bit more. So some of you may know that I actually have a wedding coming up in October. I am getting married, for those of you that don't know. And well, for the wedding, we need a videographer. And let me tell you, I've been searching online for videographers for months. And after scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and looking, after constantly looking and trying to find somebody to video for us, the prices are ridiculous. And no offense to any videographers out there. I think after seeing those prices, I want your job. <laughs> so I thought, why not, instead of spending all of this money on a videographer, buy a good camera myself and hire somebody to just man the camera for me. And then I just edit all the footage later in post. So that's what I did. And I see it more as an investment because as you guys can see, I use the camera a lot. I currently have the ZV-1F, but what's in here is probably like, I don't know, but it's way better. And I'm excited because not only can I use it for my wedding, I can use it for my YouTube videos. Maybe I could get into professional videography and photography. I don't know, learn something new, learn a new trade. It's all beneficial. So without further ado, let's get straight into this unboxing. And I don't have anything but my keys. So I guess that'll do. Hey. Man, this is nicely packaged. They they did a great job on this. Oh, I'm so excited, bro. This is like Christmas. This is literally Christmas all over again. Charging cable. The A7C kit lens. And what we were all waiting for Last but not least, certainly not least. Ooh. Take a look at that. Oh man, L let me let me get the box out of the way. You guys see that? Ladies and gentlemen, the camera. Now the real question is, is there a battery in here? Oh, there is. Okay. So the battery is in here. Okay, so now let's take a look at the sensor. It 
just looks so clean. I don't know if I still need the mic. I got it in my hand, but yes, guys, I chose to get the Sony a7C. I'm so excited. This is actually a huge step for me. Very big step for me. Uh, I'm speechless right now. I am actually speechless. Wow. I can't wait to produce on this. I can't wait to make videos, just create. I mean, this is that this is what it's all about, right? I've slowly been trying to learn more about cameras and this is the way to do it for me. I'm the type of person to just jump in the deep end and learn as I go. So this is a great tool for me, a great way to learn and just all around excited. I'm just happy. And I'm not here to talk about specs. I'm not here to tell you to buy this camera over any other camera. I would say do your own research and just find what's best for you and what's best for your budget. Ultimately, this is what was best for me and I'm happy. So as long as you're happy, that's what matters. So I guess now we just put the lens on the camera, turn it on, maybe get a little bit of footage with it. Could be an idea. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I picked the camera back up to compare my old camera, which is the one I'm looking into now, and uh, my new camera, which I will show in a second. I've been a little busy, just, you know, life. But anyways, so right now we are filming on the Sony ZV-1F. We are in 4K, shooting at 24 frames per second. This is the quality on the ZV-1F. And this is the new camera. As you can see, there is a very big difference. Yeah, I mean, it just it just looks so much cleaner. It looks more professional compared to the ZV-1F. The ZV-1F is great, don't get me wrong. It is a great beginner camera, but once you start to get deeper into cameras and Sony, you find that there's something missing with the ZV-1F and you just want more. And that's when the A7C comes in for me. And the A7C for me was a great jump. I am now learning to shoot manually when with the ZV-1F, I shot everything automatically because uh, I was just scared to shoot in manual. But now that I have this A7C, I'm actually diving into what it is to shoot manually and I feel like I'm getting better already. And it's only been a couple of days. So yeah, uh, this is the new camera. Please let me know what you think on the difference between the ZV-1F and the a7c like i said i'm i'm not a professional i do this part time i do this for fun and i'm just learning day by day and this is just a step for me so let me know what you think let me know how you like the picture quality uh, comparing the zv1f and the a7c i'm currently on my lunch break so i'm kind of wrapping this up quick because i do have to go back to work if you do have any questions about the A7C or the ZV-1F, please let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to give you the most information that I can. But with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, my socials will be in the description below. But yeah, that's it for me. I I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Have a good day or night. Bye. Was that a good take, Papa? Papa? Hello, Papa? <laughs>